Satnam, Satnam. By now, I hope that anyone who's partaking in this sadhana is noticing their glands, your glands, um, secreting better so that the body is able to absorb breath better. So I'm really happy with Peter and Elizabeth in the morning and Daniel's. I've seen a reasonable shift in Daniel. We haven't seen Shanley around the studio yet, so hopefully when she's home, if she's home anytime soon, we'll see her and see how her glands are secreting, get a report from her. It sounds like she's having a good time. Um, I'm not really sure. I think Bethany's doing the sadhana. I'm not sure if anyone else is doing the sadhana, but way to go. And uh, I'm adding uh, another video today because I want to move through that first initial set now really fast. And I want to do a quicker warm-up. And on top of the quicker warm-ups, we just kind of move into the hamstrings, move into the lower back, uh, do our stretch pose, do our core work again. We basically go through the same postures that we've done already. And then we're going to add on. So we're going to do um, five meditations. Five. And this is going to be the majority of the sadhana now. So the first meditation is just sitting quietly at the end of the actual set. And the second meditation is going to be um, the 60 second breathing. So the whole sadhana is going to hopefully be no longer than an hour and 20 minutes. Um, only about 25 minutes of actual warm up and then 55 minutes of meditation. So second uh, sadhana uh, meditation components is 60 second breathing. Third sadhana component is going to be something called Sudarshan Chakra Kriya. Oh, I have some food on my cheek, I think. I don't know, whatever. Uh, fourth uh, sadhana component is called Sat Kriya. And then the fat final sadhana component is called Kirtan Kriya. I'm going to teach these all of these exercises in this video, this first video, which is an essential component to our meeting so that we can actually just get into the technology when we first uh, actually just tune on to the video. So that way we can just flow from one exercise to the next. So this first video is a reference video only that you can use just for technolo technological purposes so you understand the technology better. Okay, and the first thing, like you're all, I'm pretty sure I noticed you've all been locking really well, so that, I don't have to talk about locks right now. We're just gonna get into the nitty gritty of how this works. So Yogi Bhajan, the guru of Kundalini Yoga, you all know who he is now. He uh, basically said to us that there are four main techniques that four yoga meditation techniques that are the most powerful techniques in kundalini yoga and that's what we're going to work with is these four techniques there's also a fifth technique which isn't a technique at all and that's at the end of our first 25 minutes so the end of our first 25 minutes we're just going to sit silently and just observe our breath observe the mind observe the movement of mind it's natural that the mind moves and you just observe, and you observe the observer in that first little bit. Then we get into our breath work, our technology to deepen our experience. So the first exercise, like we all know, is you work the breath. You're all doing great with your breathing, so I'm sure your breaths have dropped. Now we're gonna go to uh, a point in the video. I'm gonna do actually a really challenging breath for you. I'm gonna do a 0.81 breath of Nadi Shud Pranayam. Most of us are gonna have to work up to that. So for this body mind, Jitendra Das, guide body mind, that's why I'm guiding the video, is because my breath is already exceptionally deep. So this body mind is already breathing quite well, so thus the video can be very fruitful for you if you work up to the breath work of 0.81 breaths a minute, and you want that breath, of course, when we get to the breath work to be sa ta na ma. You want the breath to be long and uh, deep and full, soft and smooth and natural. So you don't have to force yourself to get to some tear. It's the more you just let your body just relax into a more fluid, hilly breath, the more effective the breath will be. 
So then, once we've got the breath nice, long, deep, smooth, soft, and natural, then we're, our minds are going to be more focused, more present. And that's when we're going to snap our navel up. And we're going to go into what's called Sudarshan Chakra Kriya, where we go, and this is where I'm going to put the phone into the little holder, okay? You are going to need to probably watch this video maybe a few times, some of you, okay? So I'm going to be looking at the tip of my nose. I inhale th through my left nostril, hold my breath, and then while my no breath is held, I go, wa, hey, guru, wa, hey, guru, wa, hey, guru, wa, hey, guru. I'm listening to a mantra, wa, hey, guru, 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 and it's going to repeat as I'm snapping in the navel, releasing, snap, 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 release, snap, 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 release. So each time I hear, wa, hey, guru, wa, hey, guru, wa, hey, guru, I'm pulling energy up my spine. Going up, 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 release. I'm very focused. So I've got to be very, very narcissistic. This is called good, healthy narcissism. This is called you focusing on your own needs to be totally centered, to feel totally joyful, to be the ecstasy of God so that you can be a channel of goodness in the world. So you're lifting up, 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 release. And now in the Sudarshan Chakra Kriya, I look at the tip of my nose. My left hand is in Gyan Mudra. My right hand is here. I inhale left. Always. Exhale right. Always. And every time I inhale left, hold my breath, snap my navel in. Let this joy be received. You go up, 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 a release. This will give you a very powerful experience if you are committed. The eyes are on the tip of the nose and are nine tenths closed. You might have to watch this video two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Who can say? I don't know. But you, ha you watch the video enough times that you understand the teaching. You feel free to message me if you don't understand the teaching. Inhaling left, exhaling right, following the track. Up, 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 release. Up, 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 release. Va, he, guru. Va, he, guru. Va, he, guru. Repeating the mantra in your mind, holding your breath. At this point, your breath will be very deep, my sisters and brothers. There's going to be a huge release in the nervous system. Then once we're done that, Va, he, guru, you'll know the locking. Okay, I'll guide you through a very specific locking technique. You're going to pull your breath up, hold your breath, do something very special. You'll hear it in the video, you'll know it right away, it's going to be guided, it'll be great. Then you'll exhale, relax, you'll sit for a bit, just sit, feel the shift in it. Okay, then we're going to go into what's called Sat Kriya. So you said Vahi Guru, Vahi Guru, Vahi Guru, Vahi Guru. Then we're going to sit up in this position, in rock pose, interlock the fingers. Now this body mind of Jitendra Das, okay, I teach this teaching, very, very important teaching in Kundalini Yoga. It's not about whether you are a man or a woman. It's not about this. It's about what is feeling aligned for you. So I can't teach you how to cross your thumbs. This body mind of Jitendra Das, energetically at a soul level, feels like a man body. It feels really aligned. The hormones that it's, it's generating are ah beautiful. They feel really in alignment. Now it's very possible for a body, you know, to not have that experience where you feel like, oh I, man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> like Shania Twain says. <laughs> and that's not just, that's just not the case for this body mind of Jitendra Das. See? So I'm not this body mind. I'm this joy in which the body mind takes place and I want to be as subtle as possible. So the right thumb actually has helped that happen over the left in a way that can't really be understood or conceptualized but actually has to be discovered. The index finger is released and the arms go up and I look into the third eye. As I look into the third eye, I inhale and then I chant Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nom, sat, nom, sat, nom, sat, nom, sat, nom. So we'll do that for a while, okay? And this is like saying, I am the ecstasy of life. I'm this bliss of being, oh. And then we do another lock. You inhale, pull up. And then at the end of that, you're going to lay down. And we're going to get into a collective uh, trance at that point. Just sink into a bit of a, a relaxation trance on the ground. Daily, it'll be the same trance. Just 
And what is the trans purpose? To know the sameness of all of us, to, to feel a deep connection in this moment. You've really opened your pineal gland. We'll have opened our, our glands and our brain together. Pineal pituitary gland have been busted up at the end and you'll push. And then you'll get very, very relaxed. Okay, then the next exercise, once you've relaxed, is we're gonna sit up and we're gonna sing. And Kirtan Kriya is one of the four exercises that Yogi Bhajan said. And of course, the fifth one is the unspoken one. That's just silence. We went from silence into our beautiful sound of our breath. We came out of the sound of the breath into the subtlety of Sodashan Chakra Kriya, feeling the intelligence of our own love of God, just faithfully letting us feel the aliveness of the nervous system. Then we celebrate the nervous system. Then we relax, we get up, and we do Kirtan Kriya, which is Satanama. I want to know at a deep level in every cell in my being, Sa, birth, Ta, light, Na, death, Ma, a divine play of four happening always. And so when I do Satanama, Kirtan Kriya, I'm looking at the third eye, very focused. My hands are in Gyan Mudra again. Gyan Mudra on my lap, I'm sitting cross-legged. The sound is dropping in through the crown, firing out the eye, in through the crown, firing out the eye. And I'm focusing on this sound cycling through my brain. Sa, ta, na, ma. It's going in the in infinite lotus flower of consciousness that you are, you are infinite consciousness. Oh my God, look, you're watching this on an iPhone. This is recording on an iPhone, okay? This is going into the brain and out the forehead. And you're very, very focused on the third eye as the sound goes down out. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta. And then again, you'll fit. inhale with locks. Hold the breath. You'll get guided with that. Exhale at your breath. Go, you'll get guided with that. And then finally, we chat the long time sun, okay? If you have any questions about this preliminary video on which I, my descriptions are unclear, okay? I'm just gonna wind it up with one more recap in that where I want your eyes to focus in the technology, okay? Just because it is important. Whenever you'd like, you can look at your third eye. You can also, if you'd prefer, look at your nose tip. Both are, are okay. You get into a habit of one or the other, and they're both actually useful. And different kundalini teachers have different opinions, and have, there are different teachings about both, but they're both ideal for you to get focused on what you need and what feels good for you. These are the two focal points. Now, in the only kriya, the only part of the kriya that we're focused on the tip of the nose for a very specific purpose, okay, my eyes nine tenths closed looking at the tip of my nose, is the sudarshan chakra kriya. Everything else, you can look at the third eye, but you also can look at the tip of the nose, except for in Sat Kriya, we look here, we look into the third eye, it's very focused on going up to the eye, to the eye, and then also in uh, Sat Kriya, and also in Kirtan Kriya, we're going through the eye, through the eye, through the eye. In the 60 second breathing, you can look here or here both, no problem, and throughout the actual warm ups, you can look here and here both, and even through the breath set. I mean, you can you can pick your drishti. Um, I naturally just go to the third eye. I'm looking at my third eye right now. Just that's where you tell the truth from. That's where you discover truth. You are the truth. May we know it ever more deeply. May we know it ever more deeply every day. Enjoy this next video, my friends. And um, text me or Facebook me with questions. Satnam.